Beside that, there is a uh, the registry. If you want to sign the registry, that will be good. Um, the product you just gave you is for Lifeline Insurance Group. I actually own an insurance uh, agency, and I work with about 30 different companies. Okay, and one of the things that I've noticed is when they're saying that that they don't want a public option, that the insurance companies will take care of it on their own. I can tell you right now that the last five years, it's just gotten worse and worse. The companies, what they're doing is, the insurance companies, they cut the benefits. The plans that, they, that were around just even two years ago, the one that I personally have right now, is they don't sell it. The emergency room, now you have to pay your deductible. It's no more $200, okay? The benefits are down. The premiums in 10 years have gone up 100 to actually double. So that's 200%. Normally, inflation is like 3 4%. So you're talking over 12% every year premiums automatically go up. That's besides your age going up. Okay, so the premiums have doubled in 10 years. And I can tell you as an insurance agent, I never liked selling health insurance because the system, I felt it didn't work. But the last five years, I had to do it. My income has gone up more and more. Everybody's in a recession now. Health insurance agents are making more money now than ever. Okay? Commissions are 20, 30 percent of the premium. On top of that, I get a renewal after the first year, eight, nine percent, sometimes more. And on top of that, once you sell 30 policies with one company, they give you a five, ten thousand dollar bonus. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I be selling these products and making all this money, and the system is broken? The insurance companies, they're gonna go before everybody. Emergency room was paid 100 dollar copay, 250 the most. Okay. It, now everybody starts going the other way, all the new plans, they, they don't cancel everybody. What they'll do is they'll stop selling the plan, start a new plan, they don't sell that plan anymore. You know? And I'm sick and tired of having people come to me and tell me, look, I can't even afford life insurance, which actually works, okay? Which, that I know that when the person passes away, it's going to change their life. They can't afford something that's so less because they're spending almost $1,000 a month for our family, you know? And that's if they get approved. How many families do I have to deal with that they literally could tell me, look, Eddie, if it's twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a month, I can pay for it. Don't worry about it. I'm like, yeah, but you're uninsurable. Yeah, but no, but I left my other the company because now I'm making two, three hundred thousand dollars a year, Eddie, so I can afford it. Because before I was making less money at the company, but I lost my health insurance. I go, yeah, well, now you have to keep in mind that you're not going to be able to, you know. 
So, I mean, the system is broken, and the, the insurance company is like, I gotta fix it or don't. We just want what the that. senators have. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's the yeah. thing. They're, they're so afraid of the yeah. public option. Right. It's like, so why do you have it? Right. We you just know? don't want the senators. I mean, right. take that away from them and let them. Let me talk to them, and they can deal with all the new plans since they'll have to deal with the new plans. And I want to see which, how many congressmen and senators want to buy the insurances that I offer. Yeah. Or you can qualify. Or you can qualify. Because when you're on the individual, when you have a group plan. There are some benefits and there's a little more, you know, you have a little more power. But still, if you come and you don't have insurance and you start in a company and you start working there, you'll get the insurance, but your pre-existing conditions will not be covered in the first year, regardless of how big the company is. Yeah, if you're middle class, you don't get insurance. You got to be rich, you don't get I have had no, I had no insurance while I was a student in nursing school. Back when this, I didn't get ill. No, finally I have a job and I have good insurance. But I would like to make sure that other students who are looking to go into healthcare or whatever other career don't have to go through the years 